Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today my gift to you is a meditation, a guided meditation uh, designed to help you release, you know, subtle causes for your back pain as well afterwards, you know, uh, a guided meditation for deep relaxation you know where you go through the whole body and just you know relax and release as much as you can um, so um, that should be quite an experience um, for you and might help you as maybe an entrance way even to go into past lives by yourself or go to sleep <laughs> And if you happen to pass out, you know, don't worry, um, you know, it will work on you as long as you, you know, uh, invoke protection and, <laughs> yeah, as long as you invoke protection before you pass out, you know, you're going to be all right. Okay, so I would say that, um, you know, the statistics about say that one in three Americans, you know, has chronic back pain. I mean, and chronic means all the time, you know. And uh, personally, I had to deal with chronic back pains, you know, since I was a teenager, you know, even standing, you know, for a longer time, you know, would hurt me. So, um, you know, and so in that, for that reason, I was very much encouraged to, <laughs> to investigate those issues, right? And, uh, but first, you know, I will uh, give you an overview um, to expand, you know, your understanding of possible back pain issues so that during the guided meditation, you know, you have an idea of what I'm talking about. And then there will be, as I said, the progressive guided meditation to release all of the digital tension that is still left in the body, you know. And so uh, a lot of the initial stuff will be common sense. And, um, but you know, you probably all know most of those issues and maybe you pick up here or there like a, a pointer. Uh, I mean, I used to give massage for several years and used energy work, um, you know, so I have some kind of experience. <laughs> Um, there on those issues and you know found some very effective methods and uh, <clears throat> so but I will try to cover the stuff that's not you know the mainstream knowledge you know uh, you know the thing that may open the eyes for even experienced light workers you know even a one or two of those nuggets you know it's sometimes enough you know that's all we're looking for something that handles helps us over the hump so uh one of the uh, main uh, probably reasons for back pain is, is like you know bad work you know or sitting habits you know i mean for instance uh, many people spend uh, more than eight hours sitting in front of a computer and your head is like a 10 pound bowling ball and just sitting hunched over and you know having you know your neck muscles and back muscles you know holding on to this uh, can be uh, quite um, taxing for them so you know, just uh, you know go on the internet and check out you know YouTube videos on how to position your head you know, um, with the keyboard, uh, with the viewing screen, uh, it can on long term help you with a lot of problems. And in general, yeah, I would say uh, do, uh, you know, change your position about at least every 15 minutes. Do a lot of wiggling around and, and stretching, you know, um, you know, as much as you can, you know, especially when you are in the bathroom. <laughs> And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, stretch everything out so that nothing builds up. Um, you know, same with, you know, work condition. I mean, uh, it's probably most important that doing the job, you know, if you have to do one-sided work, you know, you stretch out, you know, certain things that are get overtaxed, you know, whether it's your back, you know, or this or that, you know, you will know that and you <laughs> probably painfully know, so 
uh, where it's hurting you and just, you know, do some research on how to stretch those uh, things out. Uh, my tip here again is stay in the ah zone. And with ah zone, I mean, you know, when you, let's say, you're not stretching enough, you're not getting anything done, you're wasting your time. You know, when you stretch too much, it hurts, you know, and your body recoils and you know, locks up to, so he doesn't get further hurt. So, but when you stay in the R zone, it's like, uh, it's just like, you know, you release and it's pleasant, and uh, but you get things done. So, you know, try to stay in the R zone. Uh, when you stretch your body and also smile into those body parts, you know, stay heart connected with those parts. These are all conscious living subpersonalities of you. <laughs> uh, that's a good way to look at it. So, um, uh, another thing to understand is that um, the body to um, <coughs> to save energy, um, the muscles, they are locked. You know, when they don't get moved very much in a certain position. And uh, so it, it saves them to do energy. Those muscle fibers lock. And uh, when they don't get, like, stretched out, means unlocked, uh, which takes about 30 seconds, you know, so it become more and more a permanent situation. So, uh, like, somebody that, you know, is quite flexible uh, initially when they're young and then gradually <laughs> you know they lose range of motion uh, just because those muscles have become too hard and this can be quite a prison you know many people have those armors they just rock hard in their shoulders you know so uh, that comes a lot from muscle memory and those can be sidestepped by just um, you know, in every direction, pulling by 30 seconds. You can do research on this yourself. So this would be kind of a modern-day fast, stretchy yoga. Uh, another thing is, you know, back pain um, gets affected um, by your feet, and which is, uh, you know, if you have uh, pronated feet, for instance, um, you know, uh, your pelvic position is different and, um, you know, the whole thing doesn't stack up properly. And so uh, getting proper shoes that are not run down or with proper inlays or where the heel is, maybe heel is a little raised, can make a lot of difference, especially if you have to stand all day long. Uh, if you have to stand all day long, I advise to get those uh, expensive, more expensive uh, Dr. Scholl's type inlay soles uh, with, uh, you know, uh, cushy soles uh, that maybe with a little bit of massage, you don't want to overdo it because then your feet start to swell when you have massage knobs and you know, stand for eight hours. <laughs> Not a good idea. So. Um, you know, shoes are an important factor that should be considered. And um, then, of course, uh, you know, as I uh, told before, you know, there is the pronation. Uh, when your foot pronates, probably, you know, you also have a weak spine. You know, those areas, they correlate. Uh, you know, if you research acupressure charts, um, you know, you will see um, that you know, the area between the big toe and the heel, and you do a straight line there, you know, that area represents, you know, your spine. And you will, when you massage those uh, areas, you will find, you know, where it correlates with your back pain. And you can get some quite fast relief uh, with this, uh, you know, when you stay in the R zone with your pressuring and smile like an idiot. Uh, so uh, then there is also another area where your back pain, uh, you know, gets can be controlled easily, which is this part of the arm. Um, when this is very tense, you know, this is generally very tense when your back is very tense. And on the hands, it would be, you know, these parts here. These represent, you know, your upper shoulders here, these areas. And then this is kind of on the back where this is the head, right, or the neck area. So, uh, you know, especially when you massage here between those tendons, uh, 
that might be quite sore and you will get great relief and you know massage and they will correspond in areas on your foot um, especially the one next to the pinky toe uh, you know you can get great relief from tension that's otherwise very difficult to access and uh, you know I used to give one and, a, one and a half hour massages and I always started with the feet you know, I wouldn't even touch the body before I did the feet and then the hands. Right? Um, <clears throat> so another aspect um, is, of course, uh, you know, um, emotional um, <laughs> tension um, that can become permanent. You know, if somebody is like always hunched over and, and afraid and anxious, you know, and is suppressing those, tries to suppress those emotions, you know, through tension. Um, you know, uh, that can be a habitual, and unless those emotions are released, uh, this can become permanent, and, you know, definitely when everything is contracted, then, you know, the spine is contracted, and uh, nerves get pinched down the line, you know, which, of course, is, uh, if you have a disturbed communication system in your body, you know, everything else down the line starts deteriorating. <coughs> so, um, so tension is one of the psychological states that affects us, you know, nervous tension. And then there is also kind of body positioning, you know, it has a psychological aspect, right? So, um, you know, let's say when we go on to the opposites, you know, you always can learn from the extremes. Uh, you know, there is the hero pose where you kind of imagine that there is a string attached to here and you just pull it up. And basically, this is the position where uh, you have the highest flow of chi, you know, coming out the spine, going, you know, into the brain stem and then coming out. You know, this is pretty much the good pose and then you let your shoulders kind of float outside you know which is a good balance of you know emotional openness here and self-confidence you know and uh, you know heart opening uh, so of course this is like only in safe circumstances you know or when you're quite sure of yourself that you open up like this so uh, this is an ideal if you uh, kind of reside there, um, this is ideal in, in the whole energy state. And the opposite kind of would be when you slouch, you know, when you, um, <coughs> your neck is bent, uh, your spine is bent. You know, in that case, your whole flow, you know, the energy of cosmic energy going from the higher chakras coming in, going down the spine is <laughs> not optimal and um, so you know this means this is connected kind of with lower consciousness uh, with like you know the slouching teenager he is rebellious and you know and shuts down his energy uh, you know uh, so um, this is kind of the one of the archetype of slouching you know uh, and of course, you know, this slouching over is like a protective thing sometimes from punishment, you know, and not trusting, and the heart is protected, so it is not necessarily rebellion, and it's often a defensive posture, you know. For some people's childhood is quite harsh, right? And um, so, according to your just spinal alignment, you know, your, uh, the nerve function and also the chi flow, you know, uh, will uh, get adjusted, you know, from optimal, you know, to low. Um, so, in, when we talk about now uh, causing, you know, going to root causes for, uh, let's say, trauma in, in, uh, in the back or spine, um, let's say, for instance, uh, Freud's disciple William Reich, you know, he had a drum uh, where, you know, it was kind of a half drum and you would kind of lay over it and it would like stretch out your back and then sometimes, you know, it would crack 
and you know this was when it happened, <laughs> which didn't always happen. And when it happened, you know, some people, you know, had a feeling of, um, you know, a big release. Some people had strong emotional reactions, like crying, um, or even past life memories, you know, which were connected probably, you know, with the spinal trauma. And uh, you know, of course, uh, there are other ways um, to gain uh, access to those things. Um, but um, you know, this is a historical fact. You know, um, so the idea basically was that past life trauma and tension is also manifested in your spine. Um, and of course, you know, so when you have tension in your spine, so when all those muscles, you know, pull together, um, this means your spine gets compressed, you know, the cartilages, you know, pieces, you know, they get compressed, and then, you know, sooner or later, the, the bones start pinching the nerves, and that hurts. And um, then also the areas, you know, that uh, where the nerves you know, give information to, like the liver, you know, the different organs. Um, you know, they get their, you know, intelligence, you know, through the spine, you know, and their feedback loops. So uh, when that is disturbed, those organs also start to misfunction. Now, um, from a yogic or more mystical point of view, um, uh, there's also a flow of life force you know, let's we could uh, say ionic charges or chi, um, you know, or life force of rill. It has many names in different traditions. Um, you know, there, there is a flow of those. Uh, most people know the systems of, let's say, what do we have? You know, Xi Gong, uh, Chinese, we have um, acupuncture pressure, you know, which, so they look at meridians and meridian points, and then the Hindus, they have a Nadi system, um, which is a more subtle system, and, and of course they were working with the chakras, so, you know, they're all kind of different aspects, and uh, you can look at all kinds of systems, and uh, they all kind of work, <coughs> and none of them is necessarily the solution to everything. Mm -hmm. They are all interconnected, though. So, um, uh, so these systems, you know, they are, um, get um, blocked. Um, let's say I had several cases where, um, you know, uh, my clients, a Kundalini went off when they were young. Let's say puberty, and it maybe made it like halfway through. Let's say around the kidney area. You know, there was a spinal injury. And so phew, the energy went sideways, and you know, so too much chi was going into the wrong neighborhood in the body, and you know, causing you know quite some problems. So you know, I, I straightened that out. Um, it can be done. Actually, it wasn't <laughs> very difficult for me. So I can probably do this over Skype. You know, if you have an issue like that, uh, no guarantees. You know, but. Uh, most likely. So, um, uh, so when you know you have this spiritual awakening, and a lot of people have this right now. A lot of clients of mine, they're just waking up. You know, they start talking with their high selves. You know, within one or two sessions. You know, many of them very fluently, and you know, get to uh, see their you know higher consciousness, their different aspects. You know, it's just definitely something. So many of you uh, will have Kundalini experiences and, you know, don't be afraid, uh, you know, just smile. Smile is very important when this energy rushes over you. And it's not like, you know, one sn two snakes like going around, you know, it's just like energy kind of flowing, you know, and uh, f flowing, dancing kind of, you know, purifying and uh, you can direct it also, you know, with your breath, with your intent, you know, and just keep on smiling and just pray to the highest, you know, uh, whoever you trust, if you're Hindu or yogi, I would call Lord Shiva, you know, if you uh, 
Christian call on Lord Jesus or the Cosmic Christ or, you know, God to help you. So, you know, everybody has their helpers. <laughs> you know, every tradition has their helpers that they trust. And uh, you could just call on them to assist you and smile so you're in the love vibration. You know, that's the most important, you know. Uh, there is a lot of scary literature about that, you know, but uh, just just a smile, you know. Those things are in a way like LSD, <laughs> you know, and if you're happy and smile, you know, it's going to be good, you know, and if you're not, uh, you know, uh, there might be uh, fear, you know, so uh, everything is stronger, you know, more intense, you know, when these energies come up. So, um, chiropractic, you know, um, uh, where this is a, a method where you, you know, realign, you know, the uh, vertebras in your spinal cords. And the good chiropractors, they even, you know, can tell you psychological issues, you know, how they're connected with certain vertebras. And um, this can be very helpful. Uh, the problem is in many ways that um, the muscles, you know, on the back or in the neck that are pulling, you know, things out of place, they have to be relaxed. So they have to be, you know, it takes a, you know, deep tissue massage, you know, or acupressure massage, maybe acupuncture, but, you know, you that got to be some powerful acupuncture, you know, with uh, needles and uh, electroshocks, <laughs> you know, to get rid of a, a full tense uh, back. You know, I have done it, uh, but, you know, the machine, it was an M10, was set to the maximum. <laughs> I do not recommend it, but uh, it worked. So, um, you know, those things help, uh, but without a massage, you know, um, you're probably wasting a lot of money with a chiropractic, you know, so it has to go together, with, uh, you know, where the muscles get relaxed, you know, and uh, then, uh, you know, you do the chiropractic, you know, and then it's more likely to stand, you know. So, um, yeah, massage and self-massage, you know, is uh, really important with uh, back pain, um, you know, besides stretching. So um, we already talked a little bit about stretching, so stretching is very important. Uh, I'm not going to go through all those exercises, you know. But when you have back pain, you know, when there's stuff, you know, muscles that are really tense in the back, Many times when you, you know, follow your ribs, you know, along, you know, your body and you press between the ribs and you will find that it really hurts you, you that you have some really tender spots. And so, you know, I would massage those and just smile into them, you know, stay in the R zone. And when they're not painful anymore, you will notice that a lot of pain in the back has disappeared. And unless you deal with those sore spots, you know, in your between your ribs, on your side, uh, even in front of your heart, you know, you're not going to get completely rid of all the stuff in the back. So because the front and back, they're correlated, and many massage therapists just do the back. Now, on the other hand, also, or additionally, there are a lot of really important a meridian and acupressure points here in this area. That's why we're so ticklish there. And, you know, for important organs. And so uh, there is generally a lot of imbalance there anyhow. And so massaging those points, you know, uh, this is a very good idea. <laughs> and you can do it yourself, um, free of charge, you know, whenever you feel this. So that's something that's not known very much. And I also have a video on a one-hour office chair massage, just, you know, search. And, um, you know, there we go, you know, through massaging your whole head, facial, I mean, with your acupressure points, etc. You know, uh, and the whole upper body. So everything you can do, you know, on yourself, you know, for free. You know, if you kind of kind to yourself and learn how to love yourself, you will do so, <laughs> and you will be amazed. 
you know, and it is self-empowering and a lot cheaper. So uh, we have the stretching and the strengthening of muscles. Uh, many times, um, let's say pronation, where you know you have a hollow back and your belly kind of sticks out. Um, that leads to you know back pain when you're standing. Um, you know there are uh, some muscle in your heels and uh, yeah in your calf and in your thigh that need stretching. Um, so check this out you know I, I'm quite sure unless you know you completely stretch those out you know uh, your pronation uh, will not uh, go away so it's going to be very beneficial for you um, and you know of course the I would say one of the most effective ways and uh, it is something you know I own a machine which is the reverse gravity machine or inversion table uh, if I would keep one machine, one exercise machine, I'd probably take a reverse gravity machine, you know. I mean, a big trampoline is nice too, uh, but the reverse gravity machine is definitely a lifesaver. Um, you know, when you come home from work, um, it would you probably uh, an inch, one and a half inch shorter <laughs> than when you before you left the house and uh, you know it's just gravity you know compressing you know your your spine and then it takes all night for your spine to decompress and also but when you know after work you go on a reverse gravity machine for five to ten minutes um, you know you already decompressed everything you know you feel lighter and you know the yeah brain is flushed with, with blood, you know, uh, and so you're much sharper. So it's a really uh, good uh, tool. Uh, just like uh, some, you know, some yogis say that the headstand is the uh, number one hatha yoga exercise. Well, it's, you know, for the blood pressure, you know, you don't even expand your spine. But here, you know, you have the blood pressure, you know, increase in your brain as well as the toughening of all your joints, <laughs> you know, in, in your body as well as uh, your stretching of your spine, you know. And then you can do, of course, sit-ups, crunches, you know, without uh, compacting your lower back. So it's a really nice, uh, you know, um, investment. And you can get those things for starting at a hundred bucks, you know. Um, all right, so... <coughs> uh, then also, you know, when we look at our back and back pain, you know, we have, um, you know, a left side and a right side, of course, and the left side represents the female side and the right side represents the male side, you know, the same in your face. So, uh, you know, sometimes it, it may explain, uh, you know, why, um, you know, the malady is on a certain side of the body. And also, uh, when you uh, look at energy, uh, like at chakra energy, and we have like energy centers going forward, and we have energy centers going backwards, um, the uh, frontal, uh, the, the streams, energy streams forward, you know, there represents that of what we are conscious of, you know, what we see with our eyes. So we are kind of conscious of this like 180 degree um, bubble in front of us uh, but then the energy centers to the back you know they are more like the subconscious aspect of ourselves um, like um, you know the heart chakra open to the front that is love towards certain people and maybe causes you know entities and but when the heart chakra is open to the back uh, and many light workers are not even aware of this. You know, many yogis, when you open it to the back, that increases your unconditional love towards everything, you know, towards source, you could say. You know, when you love source, you know, you love everything. Kind of, you know, it rubs off. So, um, uh, that's something to be considered. So, in the back, you know, you carry a lot of the unconscious stuff. 
And when we look again at, you know, the psychological uh, representation of the back, you know, according to Louisa Hayes, um, it, uh, you know, the spine, the back is a support system. Uh, you know, um, it supports the whole body. Uh, you know, the, without the spine, you know, your head would be sitting on your butt. That was a joke. Um, so, but it would also be a fact. Um, so, if you did not have, like, enough support, you know, from your parents, like from your father or your mother, um, chances are, you know, you're having back problems. You know, especially the lower back, you know, uh, comes up when people have financial struggle, uh, when they feel like a leaf in the wind, uh, you know, they don't know where they're going to be uh, staying or sleeping and uh, how life is going to turn out. Uh, you know, basically where there is a lot of poverty, uh, consciousness there, you know, often this goes together with lower back pain. And... Um, so, you know, this is an, an aspect, you know, that one uh, should uh, look at. Um, then, of course, you know, there's also a personal trauma, like falling off a house. <laughs> and, um, you know, if you have any clue, you probably understand that there are also past lifetimes, and uh, we uh, also get affected by uh, past life trauma. And in most cases, you know, this happens through soul fragments, you could say, you know, some people might say, you could explain it with ghosts, though it gets a little bit scooby dooed you know, and it has a lot of, you know, uh, uh, let's say, a uh, smile, you know, as cuckoo energy, or, you know, about it, the idea of ghost. Um, but uh, let's call it soul fragments. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, those they stand back, means they don't pass on into the higher dimensions in traumatic, because of trauma in many times, and, you know, back issues are trauma issues, and um, so um, you probably have uh, several ghosts, you know, um, that affecting you with, with their trauma, and when those ghosts leave, uh, you know, the trauma leaves, you know, the template that affects your chemical body, um, just like the uh, magnetic streams of a magnet, you know, affect the iron filing. Um, <coughs> so it changes, you know, and then the energy flow changes, and then the chemical body changes. So it's kind of connected in that way. Um, so you can also have, uh, you know, effects from just ghosts that are hitchhikers, they don't have to be from your own uh, past lifetimes, um, this can happen. Uh, and, you know, of course, when those ghosts leave also, you know, your back pain suddenly goes away. You will check on that. And now we, uh, if ghost wasn't far out, <laughs> now we really go over the deep end. Um, I have found uh, that there is all kinds of um, magical stuff, mystical, dark stuff that has happened in the past and is still happening at uh, present. So, uh, well, there were, of course, you know, um, in plants and psychic warfare on the demigod level, but. Um, and some of us have been incarnated on that level, but uh, much of, uh, you know, warfare on the subtle plane, I mean, the astral body has happened in Atlantis. It started there. Uh, but then the many, 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 many are found in Egypt, many, many implantations in Egypt. And then, you know, there is a Vedic, South American, you know, African, Nordic, you know, and this medieval stuff uh, that has been uh, put in there, you know, and you have to understand that, um, you know, this was the common way. This was very, very common in all culture. You know, black magic was, or magic, just magic, um, 
you know, when you study books on, on magic, let's say how uh, black magic was brought to the Native Americans, you know, they're mostly learned from the Italians. You know, the Native Americans would just do magic. <laughs> And uh, so the Italians, you know, they had more like an idea, you know, there's all the dirty tricks, you know, and, and this is the you know, above board stuff here. So, very interesting. But uh, And then there's a whole another even category of like where, like so-called gardener races, you know, that think their own humanity, like humanity thinks, you know, we own cows and pigs. Uh, you know, they uh, uh, do things uh, with us, you know, um, let's say to harvest our energy, you know, it's matrix style, it's just not metal hardware. And uh, so there are those that really affect the health and uh, then there are even on a higher plane, you know, more sophisticated implants from, you know, what is considered Anunnaki you know, and other cultures. You know, some of them may be helpful, some of them just outright predatory. So, <laughs> uh, this is just a little overview. So this is going to be a long meditation. But uh, people, you know, carry around their old pain and it cripples them, you know, and their ability to experience happiness and love. You know? And so, as the layers of the old psychic pain are lifted, you know, of the person, you know, the natural capacity, you know, for bliss, you know, emerges. So, you know, your spine is actually, you know, an organic, you know, antenna, you know, uh, between nerves and vibrational energy, you know, it's something like a modem and the different, you know, chakras or energy centers, you know, around your body are kind of nodal points, you know, in in this antenna, you know, um, um, like octaves in uh, the uh, musical scale. Um, <coughs> so, uh, why am I telling you this? Um, because, you know, the spine is so important you know, for expulsion, enlightenment, and health. So this is, you know, why, you know, you can Hatha Yoga, you know, which is considered the kindergarten level of, for yogis, <laughs> you know, aims at optimizing, you know, your spinal alignment, you know, and your deep muscle relaxation, you know, so that you have optimal chi or prana flow, and, you know, can you know, the Kundalini can rise uh, unobstructed <laughs> through spinal traumata and, uh, you know, also, uh, you know, a relaxed muscle can just, uh, you know, transfer a lot more chi uh, than, a, than a tense muscle, you know, so uh, that's uh, very important too. So, you know, and so that's why a lot of Hatha Yoga is stretching, you know, stretching out the muscles, getting rid of all trauma, and, uh, yeah. And, you know, and some of those guys, they, you know, they work four hours on one muscle, <laughs> on one posture, you know. Maybe they're going to past lifetimes, you know, to get all the stuff out. So, uh, but... So as we, uh, you know, relax more and more and more, you know, you can just, you know, start running more chi, you know, your healing powers, you know, uh, they, you know, increase, you know, whether you are, uh, you know, passive like Reiki, you know, or active, that's like my style, you know, pushing chi in, you know, uh, you just can, you just run more energy, right? And so as we, you know, clear layer and layer of, you know, uh, of our subtle bodies, you know, our resilience increases, our life force increases, you know, and the symptoms disappear, you know, in, in some cases, you know, nearly instantly, you know, you know, and especially when like soul fragments were involved. So, so in this common meditation, you know, is shotgun. Right, so it's designed, you know, to hit a lot of points, you know, even at a low skill server. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, 
you know, if you think, you know, you need outside help, you know, I'm available for private scalp, you know, consultation. And, you know, it's definitely going to be very, very fast. And, you know, it definitely, you know, sometimes it's difficult to figure out things by yourself, especially when you do it for the first time. You know, if you had experienced it before, it's going to get easier and easier to do it by yourself. And so, but let's just go over some principle. Um, so to make this a really good meditation for you. You know, first of all, you know, sit comfortable, you know, with an office chair. So, you know, you want to make sure you can balance your body and so everything stacks up and so it doesn't hurt, you know. So you want to stack it up so you don't have to need any muscle to keep it in a position and where it doesn't hurt. You know, when you when you hurt, you're not going to go on an alpha state. You know, also, you know, use some earbuds or headphones, you know, to cancel out outside distraction, you know, and it's definitely going to have an impact, you know, if you hear all the frequency instead of having it from a tinny, <laughs> you know, iPhone, <laughs> right? And uh, for one thing, you know, if you do podcasting this year, you do not drive or operate heavy machinery, you know, you might, uh, you know, zone out so much. Uh, so that would not be safe. You know, even after the uh, meditation, you know, just chill out, you know, don't jump into a car. You know, if you do, I, there's a, I do breath of fire with you to do some grounding if you really have to hit the road. But I would say just relax. Mm -hmm. And smile like an idiot, you know, and reside in your heart. You know, that's important. You know, we are so focused on being in the head. And, but you do not have access to higher dimensions, you know, unless you um, vibrate at a certain love frequency, you know. And so, and also the breath, you know, so important, um, you know. Um, of course, you know, I'm kind of teaching a young style here, you know, young compared to Ying. Uh, and so, uh, in my opinion, you know, um, the more you breathe, the more life force you have, you know, the more transformative you can be. Um, you know, that's why, like, um, Stanislav Ov, you know, that uh, was a psychologist in, in Czechoslovakia, you know, he worked in prisons with, you know, violent criminals with LSD, breathing, visualization, and he, his therapy was 95% successful. And then LSD got outlawed, and he had to. He went to breath work, you know. Just uh, his method is like you just inhale, <laughs> you know, and you keep going, and just with this kind of primitive uh, breath work, uh, you know, you can get the results like you uh, could get, you know, artificially. I have to say through LSD. You know, this just shows you the potency of breath work. So if you're a silent meditator, you know, that barely breathes, well, try the deep breath, you know. So you want to be like... And all the way in, and all the way out. I mean, all the way out, you know, you have tight tummy, right? <laughs> you squeeze that tube, and then you go all the way in. Belly, chest, and then raising, and then all the way out, and then all the way in, but you make it smooth, you know, and sensuous. That's kind of, I think, the way to breathe. And uh, you do not have to. You do not have to repeat. You know my affirmations. Just listen to them. You know, mean it and say yes or amen, but agree. You know that's important. Uh, for you, you know, you have your free will and um, just align with what, what you uh, really want to happen in your life. And also be in a childlike state of innocence during this guided meditation, you know. I mean, don't just become rationalistic cynic, <laughs> you know, that's not, you're just wasting your time, you know. Just pay attention to what pops into your mind or into your heart. You know, but do not judge or try to rationalize at the moment. You know, many people just go, what? Is this true? Am I making this up? You know, that's not going to work. You know, you just take it. Ah, 
you know, uh, just take it, remember it, and then just move on, you know. So you can always pick it apart after the meditation, you know. And so if you pass out during the meditation, you know, do not worry, you know, and, uh, you know, at least uh, stay awake till you and me, you know, we invoked, you know, the highest protection. <laughs> You know, then then you be cool. You know, then you're taken care of, and uh, many times they can get more work done with you when you're out and not doubting everything. And um, <coughs> you know, then when you're consciously watching, uh, maybe you're very judgmental, and they just say, "Ah, no, he's just gonna bypass this." You know. And also some of you, you know, there you have so much tension and, you know, my voice relaxes you, the, you know, the breathing, the visualization, the chi flow relaxes you. And, you know, your body goes, Pop! you know, is out. And, <laughs> and many times, you know, people are out for 10, 15 minutes and then they're super recharged, you know, because the subtle body just leaves, goes into the higher vibration and gets a quick scrubbing. You know, it goes through resonance and, uh, you know, then you come back and you're just like, wow, you know, what is going on? Yeah, I feel great. So don't worry about it. Uh, also, um, you know, it's interesting to find out at which point of the guided meditation you pass out. Right, or wake up again, uh, you know, go back and check out. Uh, you can get clues sometimes from things like this. And uh, some of you also uh, may benefit more, you know, by following the visualization and intent to get into a higher consciousness. Uh, but then, you know, you keep your eyes open and just use the pendulum. Um, to see, you know, if you have energy there, you know, in certain things, if you have trauma, you know, how much trauma you have, all this you can check out with a pendulum and a pendulum chart. I have a video on pendulums you can check out, right? And um, you can also, you know, pause, um, you know, your computer or your phone. You know, computer is nicer to just hit the pause button. Um, and process, you know, because many of those issues are quite deep and, you know, again, this is a shotgun meditation. So, you know, we're covering a lot of points and if you hit two, three nuggets, that is good. <laughs> you know, many people, you know, spent a whole session, you know, I mean, not with me, but, you know, like going through one or two lifetimes, you know, past lifetimes. So, you know, uh, this is a little faster here. So, uh, you know, so you can pause it, you know, use the pendulum, you know, clear the issue, maybe ask more questions on your own, you know, and then once you're done, it's clear, you know, you move on and go to the next point. So be, be flexible, right? And um, also, you know, expect uh, subtle or not so subtle energy shifts, <laughs> you know. With anything from two to five seconds uh, after an intent, and if you think I'm just bragging here or just you know uh, exasperating things, uh, just read the comments <laughs> on the videos that people give. You know how they are shaking and breathing and crying and you know all kinds of stuff happens. You know stuff is leaving. They see things. So, yes, you know, this happens all the time. Uh, sometimes it's pretty far out, so, but, you know, we have invoked protection and you should be good, um, you know, so you don't worry about it. Um, and, yes, yes, so, but it shows you that, you know, this is not just a La 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 thing, you're just making it up in your mind. <laughs> you <know? laughs> so uh, it's important for you, you know, uh, that 
you know, you show, no, there is really a lot of energy behind this. This is real. This is not just, you know, a fantasy of wishful thinking, you know, those kind of extreme states. They show you that there is something there, you know. You're not such a good actor most of the time, you know, because it's generally something you haven't even thought about, you know, something outside the box. And if it's outside your box, you know, you're probably not as so creative that you're making this up. Yeah. Okay. So let's just, uh, you know, sit back and relax and smile. Uh -huh. Stack your spine and tuck in your chin a little bit. Just play around with it till you have optimal kind of chi flow, you know, from the spine through the neck into the top of the head and out. And now, you know, we invite and connect to Absolute Source. You know, the Absolute Supreme Original Being. Uh -huh. And we also invite and connect to our Highest Self. Smile. Uh -huh and invite your inner child. A smile like an idiot and your spirit guides, you know, all those higher dimensionals and from your star nations. <laughs> Old colleagues and loved ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all your incarnations that can help and support you now in this session and in this lifetime. Yeah. The ones coming from unconditional love, you know, especially the higher dimensionals, you know, that support human ascension, yes. And of course, fifth dimensional Gaia, Gaia, and Milky Way galaxy. And we send them all love. And we ask that everything that happens in and from the session is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And that we are completely safe. There is no deceptions, that there are no booby traps that hurt us. Uh, you know, that there is no transfer of bad karma or cords, you know, throughout any you know, incarnation, any time, any uh, dimensions or locality. Amen, 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 amen. And we ask that everything that happens, you know, from this session and during this session is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And that we are using our time and energy in the most effective way. Amen. And now smile like an idiot and, you know, shapeshift your spine and your legs and even your arms and fingers into big roots and you just send them lovingly into the earth, Mother. And let her love just rise up in you. She's already in fifth dimensional consciousness. So you just open up to her and just let her love rise in you, relax you, optimize you, yeah. And on the inhale you open up to her love and on the exhale you kind of send her your love, your appreciation, you know, through the roots, you know, just like a cloud of love. And then on the inhale, you probably also will perceive her echo coming back again, and you're going back and forth. Uh -huh. So this is joyful and calming. Good. Now let her love flow into your heart and your heart just opens like a rose blossom that's in perfect condition that has just enough wonderful sunlight 
and all this nourishment and earth cheese flowing into her and she just perks up and oh just so many petals seem to be opening it's like energy streams and they're kind of moving a little bit more like sea animals you know in the water like a little floaty aha uh -huh. And there's also subtle emanations from this heart chakra, more and more subtle, like a smell of the rose, very, very subtle and sweet. Open up to those sensations. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And now you just let that love rise in you out the top of the head and above the head and you imagine the Milky Way galaxy kind of where probably your ceiling is and just reach all the way to Milky Way galaxy with your breath and on the inhale you open up to the love the unconditional love that's sent to you none of the bad stuff only the good stuff sources protecting us so yeah just allow that love to flow in and we ask that any cords or implants or blocks that have been paced or placed into us uh, even through sheeting contracts <laughs> even those be cleared throughout our creation as long as it is for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes and you know please remove any booby traps on those contracts amen 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 uh, yeah. Uh, yeah and just keep on breathing and you probably notice how your energy kind of jacks up a little bit gets better more flowy more fluffy mm -hmm. And now just open up to this love flowing in into the top of the head, into you, over you, from Milky Way galaxy, all those billions of beings that love unconditionally that come in, in and over your head, your shoulders, into your heart, the arms, Especially your legs, those wrists. And let go of the tension in your fingers. Ah, now it just flows into your legs and you just let go of your legs. And, ah, it seems your feet just sink into the ground. Mm -hmm. And we just welcome this waves of loving chi that flow over and through you now and smile like an idiot. And now we ask Source and his expansions or her expansions like Archangel Michael or like anybody else that's qualified like Lord Shiva, you know, for those in the Hindu tradition or yogic tradition, you know to remove again as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Grey or other predatory cords and devices and other technology from every level of our being, any incarnation, all times, dimensions, now, Amen, Amen, Amen. <laughs> uh, if you did a double cleanse here and, and now just you know, ask for your high self. You know, it could be your male or female or androgynous high self. It's your higher consciousness. You know, it's a representation of your higher consciousness, a projection, a hologram to communicate with you, right? They don't need flesh and bones on the higher dimensions, right? So. We asked, you know, for your higher self to manifest in front of you, you know, now, amen. And most of you will feel a presence now, 
And some of you will see a presence now. Some of them will see a, a humanoid form. And some of you will see just a light being like an oval light or like a violet light. And so just on the inhale, just allow the love to come into your heart. And on the exhale, just send your love to their center. And just harmonize and your vibration should be rising fast now and your love and subtlety should be increasing quite rapidly now. Just enjoy this, you're becoming all floaty and giddy. Uh -huh. Just smile like an alien. Uh -huh. And now we're just going to go through a long list of possible courses. And let's see if you find some stuff that we didn't know about and maybe release this. Okay, number one. You know, do we have back pain and back issues? due to nutritional deficiencies. You know, this could be not enough calcium or not enough jello or cartilage or glucosamine, you know. Yes or no? Uh-huh. And if yes, um, you know, ask, uh, let's say, would jello help? Would cartilage help? Would glucosamine help? Or general mineral supplements, would they help? And now, let's ask the high self if a lot of this back pain is due to inflammation. Yes or no? And now ask if any inflammation suppressants like turmeric capsules, ginger capsules or cayenne capsules would help you and maybe ask, you know, yes or no, and then also how much. <sighs> and now we ask how much of our back pains is due to trauma on our back due to a lack of support, you know, maybe parents, maybe it's mates, you know, maybe it's the universe, you know, everything goes wrong. Ask yes or no. Uh-huh. And uh, how much of this is from past lifetimes? Lots or little? And we ask now our high self and our helpers, our spirit guides and source, to please, you know, remove this illusion, you know, of not being supported and lack, you know, from your subconscious and throughout creations now. Amen, 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 amen. And now ask, you know, how much of your back pain and problems comes just from hard labor, you know. And if it's from hard labor, ask how much of that is like from past lifetime. Is it mostly from past lifetimes or not? And now we ask that all the trauma from past lifetime, hard labor, all the stuck emotions and the pain, please be transmuted 
and that all the stuck soul fragments and ghosts that are still affecting us with this please be brought home you know into the higher dimensions let they be cleared from any entrapment anything that holds them here and then broke up, be brought home and I personally I like to ask Lord Ganesh to do so but also you know uh, the cosmic Christ is very good at this uh, whoever you prefer the Bodhisattvas also do a great job so they just asked for volunteers in 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 And if you feel an upflow of energy, this is uh, probably the ghosts leaving, or the soul fragments leaving, going into the higher dimensions. Mm -hmm. And some of you probably also see this. And now let's ask uh, how much of our back pain is due to our uh, spinal injuries, you know, from this or past lifetimes, due to falling off a horse or a cliff or a wall or, you know, a bridge or, or a roof. Ask now. And now we ask that all the um, soul fragments that are still stuck from this trauma please be brought home and that this trauma please be cleared throughout all creation. You know, and with all creation we mean throughout all incarnations, all time, all dimensions, and all localities. Amen, 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 amen. All right, and now let's ask how much of our back pain is due to inherent weaknesses, you know, in our DNA. Lots or little. And inherent weaknesses is basically uh, ancestral trauma. Uh, many times it's through curses. Uh -huh. And so we ask the highest helpers to please clear those throughout our, our creation. Amen, amen, amen. And, and you know, upgrade the programming to the divine blueprint. Amen. Now ask whether your back pain is also due to suppressed pain and emotions. Like uh, many times, you know, we could not express our pain. Let's say, for instance, if you watch the movie Jackass, you know, and every time those guys hurt themselves, they'll rub this plot, right? And it means they basically, you know, work with the chi. Uh, there, you know, besides pressing to make sure there is no blood flowing into the damaged tissue, and they also laugh. You know, laughing is a, a cleansing, is a defense and cleansing. It also creates endorphins and all kinds of uh, s stuff that probably would be illegal if you make a pill from it. So, um, <clears throat> you know, so in those cases, you know, the jackass people there. They release, they express the pain and release, you know, but in so many cultures, you know, it was considered like as weak, you know, to show the pain, to cry out the pain, you know, like you were stoic. And so, you know, this can really get stuck in, you know, in the body. And so, you know, we ask, you know, whether we have this, and of course we have that kind of stuff, and so we ask, to please have this released throughout our creation now. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, 
on now while this is clearing let us ask whether um, our back pain is also due in larger part due to an inherited stuck emotions like uh, you know suppressed energy for whatever reason you know um, sometimes you know we were uh, suppressing our lust sometimes we were suppressing our anger sometimes we were suppressing our fear you know are not showing those emotions it's not appropriate most dangerous or other reasons and uh, so sometimes we even judge certain chakras you know uh, or shame certain chakras or parts of the bodies right uh, like uh, for instance the lower chakras you know in some cultures may be considered uh, as vulgar binding to the earth, you know, entangling you through sexual activities, etc. There was a big judgment on them. And so we suppressed those two and that can affect the chi flow in the spine. So you ask if you have those kind of things. And now we also ask that this then also please be cleared throughout our creation. Amen, amen. And while this is going on, you know, a lot of back pain and low chi in the back comes from backstabbing, you know, whether it's the local group consciousness, you know, the clan, the fraternity, you know, or your co-workers that gossiping over you or throwing you under the bus, uh, you know, or your relatives. Um, this is all backstabbing energy, but many times it's due to envy and jealousy. And so there's no need to carry this around with you, especially if you like beautiful or successful or very happy, you know, there's a lot of this energy. Um, because the dark ones don't like those things and they feel provoked. So, you know, so we asked Please, we ask Creator and the help us to please clear this from us now. Amen, 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 through our creations. So we, and when we put this on others, we probably most likely did, uh, also have those removed. Amen, amen. And now, while the clearing is still going on, let's ask whether we also have back pain and back issues because of, let's say, spinal cord cutting injuries, you know, muscles, you know, through cutting, stabbing, you know, assassinations, uh, you know, um, things like that, you know. And um, also, let me tell you as a hinter, um, uh, many times, you know, uh, wounds, they pile up in the same place, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. It seems like, you know, trauma attracts more trauma. It seems to be something weak in the energy field and somehow, you know, those blows or trauma just keep coming into those places. You know. So don't get confused about that, uh, <laughs> you know, especially your healers. Mm -hmm. And now let's ask, you know, whether you still have any back trauma from arrows, lances, and clubs. You know, um, I've experienced some past lifetime with clubs where the whole spine was just kinked. <coughs> yeah, so ask whether you have trauma from that. And, you know, we ask it to please be cleared. 
you know, for us and for those that we did those two, <laughs> those things throughout all creation now. Amen, 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 amen. Oh God, yeah, I had a lot of stuff on that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. this may take a while. And this might take some time to clear all, so you probably experience all kind of cracking and energy moving and sensation and twitching, you know, go along with the twitching and spinal movement. This is for purification, that's good, don't be scared. If it can get quite extreme, you know, that's all right. It's just trying to express itself through the body and then, you know, the energies can leave. Consider it like a duck f flapping its wing after like a small fight with another duck. Uh -huh. All right, so let's ask now if we still carry significant trauma like sustained from wrestling, you know, Aikido, you know, karate, you know, just uh, martial arts and generally, you know, uh, many times, you know, there's a spinal injury, you know, and back injury and just other trauma, <laughs> you know, from those things. You know, if uh, somebody gives you a good karate chop into the back with all the chi coming in from somebody that has been celibate for 10 years that can do some damage throughout the lifetimes. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so we asked to have that cleared, you know, for us and for those, you know, to which we affected those things, you know, please do so now, highest, throughout our creation. Amen, 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 amen. And yeah, we're really going here into the dark shadow sites, um, <laughs> cleaning out, you know, old pizza boxes and dead rats. So let's ask whether um, we also have trauma and back problems, you know, back pain, back problems, because of certain types of torture. Like many times, you know, there was hanging you know, you you know were, were hanging, you know, with, you know, on your wrists, you know, with, you know, in your back, or they had you hog tied, and um, you know, or sideways, or you were standing, you know, ringed to a wall, and it would hurt, you know, and you had to stand all day long. You could only sleep for ten minutes, and then it hurt, and you woke up. So you know, there can be significant trauma. Uh, from these type of being tied up in a dungeon kind of things and so we asked whether we are affected by this and uh, affected other with this mm -hmm. and now we ask the highest to please 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 clear all the stuff all this trauma and cords and anatas throughout our creation. Amen, 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 amen. Yes, and there, you know, as we're here on torturing, um, there is also this form of, you know, there was quartering, there was a stretching on stretches, and uh, there were people who were tied to wheels, and, you know, the limbs were broken, so Let's ask whether you still carry any um, trauma from those type of tortures. Amen. And whether you also affected trauma to others through those type of tortures. Amen. And we ask that all those tortured souls please be brought into heavens, they be liberated. Uh -huh, that to be shown how they just can forgive and then be released from the karmic entanglement. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
show them the healing, then bring them up, please. Amen, 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 amen. And also release all the curses that were, you know, implanted as well as thrown by the victims or the victors, both sides. Please clear them all. Yeah, otherwise uh, this is going to be a very sticky thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And while this is going on, let's ask whether, you know, you have been the victim or maybe the giver of flocking, you know, whipping, whipping with sticks or other implements like whips. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, there are different types, you know, it can be going from the bastinate on the feet, which also really screws up your meridian, because your whole body is represented there to the back, you know, which screws up, you know, your major meridians, and then all the nerves that go out there, and then all the muscle damage, and then the infection, and you can't even treat it yourself because it's on your back, right? So many of us probably carry oodles of trauma, let's just ask, do you carry trauma of this, yes or no? And did you affect others with trauma like this, yes or no? And let's ask for forgiveness, let's forgive, and let's ask the highest to please clear these trauma from all creation and update everything to the divine blueprint. Amen, 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 amen. Now, let's ask whether, you know, your back is still affected, you know, by um, the misalignment of the subtle bodies, you know, due to astral manipulation. Yes or no? Uh -huh. And if it is, uh, ask if it is by the draconians. Yes or no? And now also ask if it's by the so-called Anunnaki, yes or no. And we ask if this is if this is a transgression on free will, you know, sneaky contracts, cheating contracts, or just benevolent taking advantage of. You know, you like to take those cases to the highest courts, courts of spiritual justice. And we like to have these trauma cleared and all the contracts, bogus contracts cleared, especially with all the booby traps. We ask that those be cleared first throughout all creation and then everything else now. Amen, 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 amen. And the reasons why contracts are being cancelled is, or we can cancel contracts, is because it's in most cases it's based on trickery. You know, they are, uh, it was not completely delivered what was promised, and it was not completely revealed of what would be taken in exchange. You know, so these are cheating contracts. They were unfair, and that's why we asked the highest to clear them. And I'll say any booby traps attached to this. Amen, 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 amen. Yeah. And while this is going on, let's ask whether you have cords attached into the back of the spine, you know, all along the back of the spine. Um, 
asked whether they are reptilian cords, yes or no. And asked whether they are Anunnaki cords, yes or no. You might want to see them, that's up to you. They're kind of scary looking, especially the Anunnaki one, so that's up to you. Let's uh, let your high self decide whether it's good for you or not. Maybe just get a representation that's not so scary. Mm -hmm. So a lot of back pain is also to just stealing of energy, life force. I mean, it's like stealing of money or electricity from a neighborhood. You know, it's going to affect the neighborhood. So let's ask whether your back pain is strongly affected by the stealing of life force, of your talents, of your resources, whether it's like, you know, on any level, yes or no. And are you doing this to others also? Yes or no? And this might be in parallel incarnations. <laughs> and we ask that this whole stealing business please be cleared up, you know, from your side. You know, where you steal from others, we like to have that cleared. And from others to your side, we have that clear too throughout all creations. Amen, 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 amen. And now ask for the your back is affected by like implants, like voodoo doll pins, glasses, spikes, or any other, you know, visualizations, uh, you know, of the kind of voodoo, you know, primitive kind of visualization style, yes or no? Or even through uh, mummies, yeah, that can be done with mummies too, yes or no? Asked whether you're doing this to others, yes or no. And we ask the Supreme to just clear this now throughout our creation. Amen, 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 amen. So many times, you know, you have to ask very specific. We can't just say, hey, clear all black magic machinery. That doesn't work. That's kind of like the parents doing the homework for the kids. So we have to go through it, right? So let's just ask, you know, so do we have black magic astral devices or thought forms? like chains that are affecting us, yes or no? And we asked for a clearing. Now, amen. Now, do we have any implants or cords or other devices through which anger or another uh, negative emotions like bad karma or low cheese being transferred to us where we kind of being used as a dumping ground for toxic material. Yes or no? Are we doing it to others? And we ask Source to please, you know, clear this on each side of the fence. Uh -huh. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, 
And as we're talking about back pain, um, sometimes, you know, there were certain magical ropes or even physical ropes that were magically imbued, you know, that kind of hold your subtle body in weird positions that are, you know, it's a form of torture that can cause back pain. So um, are there certain ropes or cages or casts or molds or clams or rings that uh, keep us in ways that it hurts our back, our body, yes or no? And have we been doing this to others in past lifetimes or this lifetimes, yes or no? And we like to have this cleared, you know, on both sides of the fence by the highest. Please do so now. Amen, 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 amen. So, of course, you know, back problems also come you know, when certain access points, you know, are blocked to the spinal energy, you know, there's the coccyx and of course the crown chakra, you know, which are the physical access points. And of course also the atlas, you know, um, where the spine connects to the skull. Um, so let's ask, you know, whether we have any kind of crown chakra implants or skull caps or rods or needles or glass or seeds or plates or metal spikes or screws, you know, uh, that uh, still affect the health and well-being of our back, yes or no? And we like to have this cleared, you know, for us as well as for others where we afflicted them with those things. Please do so throughout all creation and continue to finish. Amen, 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 amen. And now let's ask whether there are any critters, little entities, uh, like archons, you know, there are others, or uh, there might even be, you know, AI, uh, um, there, like nanotechnology, uh, on the gross or subtle levels, and whether we are, let's ask whether are we affected by those, yes or no? And we asked for clearing, you know, throughout all creations to us and to those that we affected them with ourselves now. Amen, 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 amen. And now we ask that any devices or methods not mentioned now or here, but you know, that spirit now is, you know, are harmful for us and they're illegal and against our free will. You know, to please find out or move on, clear all, you know, all throughout creation so that we can, you know, um, have our expansion of consciousness and work for the light. So please do so now. Amen, 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 amen. And we also asked Lord Ganesh and other volunteers and experts to please ascend any soul fragments or ghosts into heavens that haven't made it yet, you know, that are holding back pain issues. Now, amen, 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 amen. Ah. And we ask that our subtle bodies please be aligned. Now, amen, 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 amen. Uh, 
And now we will come to the promised progressive relaxation. Okay. So now just smile into your heart. And your heart is like a dimensional gateway, like a wormhole that connects you with your soul. Actually, that connects you with Creator, you know, with all through creation, you know, all the way to God. It's not that you all of God, no, you're a tiny part and parcel of God, you know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you're not the whole, for sure. So, but this is kind of access through the heart, you know, all the traditions talk about it. So now, just focus into the heart and allow the love from the deeper dimensions to come forward from the heart. You might just imagine like lava flowing out from the depth of the earth, flowing out from the depth of creation into this dimension, into the physical realm. Now you imagine this is relaxing lava. It just flows from your heart and it flows up your chest. And it is releasing all the tension you're holding there in your chest area. Feels as if a heavy burden is being lifted off your chest. And also a lot of sadness just escapes the chest area, especially closer to your shoulders up front. And you just let it flow out. Ah, and now this love from the depth of your soul flows into your throat and you become aware of all the tension that you hold in there and just let go of it. Ah, that feels good. And now Gradually that relaxing power moves into your jaw muscle. And you just let go of your jaw and go slack jaw. Ah. And now that love from the depth of your soul also moves on into your tongue. Relax in your complete tongue, all those tiny muscles there. Just give them a break. Let that tongue go numb and limp. Ah. And now, more of that loving heart energy moves into the ring muscle of your mouth. Here, yeah, your lips. Your lips become fluffy as you release all tension from them. Here, yeah, loose and fluffy. And now that more love more love from the heart and from the soul flows into your eye sockets and it just nourishes your eyes the ring muscles around the eyes it just nourishes this the tension that you're holding there and it opens the energy vortexes in your eyes 
and it helps you at least the old tension of what you have seen, stuff that's hurting your vision. Yeah, it releases all the tension from that too, the psychological tension. Ooh, and now the relaxing power moves on into your forehead. And you just let go of all the tension in your forehead. Then it moves on into your scalp. Ah, all around. All around to the back. Ah, this feels good. And into the neck. Oh. Oh, there's no need to hold on to all the tension. So we ask that any blocks in the neck just be cleared with this love from Creator, from Soul. And it just flows all through it. Oh, reconstituting the divine blueprint. Oh. And now it just flows down into the shoulders. Oh, there's so much weight there and tension. And we let just go of that weight of responsibility and having to control stuff. Just let go of it, yeah, and give permission to this healing love from source to just Go and transmute all this tension there. Ah, make it comfy, relaxed, smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Relaxed, yes. Very, very good. And there's more energy coming from the center of the heart, from the depths, and it's going straight, straight into the spine, and flowing gradually down the spine, vertebral by vertebral. And gradually it just creeps down and relaxes all those muscles, you know, next to the spinal column also next to the ribs, just flowing into these muscles, nourishing them, relaxing them and balancing them and connecting them. Oh, and you just smile into those areas and send thanks and gratefulness into this. Oh, now it's just moving into your lower back. Oh, this feels so good, yes. And now it's spreading out into the whole pelvic area. Just all around. And nourishing it and creeping up again to the kidneys. Oh, the kidneys seem frazzled. All the adrenaline, they have to screw it out. Uh -huh. So now the slur from Creator is just hooking them up with the love, with the nourishment, giving calm strength. Oh, this feels good. Now from the kidneys it flows into the coccyx and into the genitalia. Ah, yeah. 
and all the tension that is being held there, also the shame. <sighs> Let go of it. And the lust of others, let go of it. And the unwanted lust and attention for others, for others, we ask that it please be removed from throughout creation. And where we call it others, we also ask that that be cleared from throughout creation now, now. Oh, now more sauce love flows into your thighs and they just become heavy. They just seem to just move into the ground as you abandon any control and tension that you're still holding on. Oh, this feels good. As the energy flows down the sciatic nerve on the side into your knee area, oh, you know, clearing all this trauma from the knees all the way on tear. Just have it nourished on all levels of all dimensions, yeah. And let it move down into your calves. Ooh, that feels good. Mm -hmm. And it moves into your ankles, but still it does a couple of rounds in your calves. There's deep seated tension in there. And yeah, this energy just soaks in and does the long soak, the long soak, just releasing it gradually. Yes. Now this healing, this love from source moves into your ankle area. Oh, there's so much stuff and trauma and misalignment there that it's just been taken care of and brought into harmony. Oh, just smile into your calves, into your feet, into your toes, and thank you. Thank them, thank them, thank them for all the daily service they're doing for you. And just send your smile into them and have them fill with this heavenly love. Ooh, yeah. And we ask that all your legs become nourished as needed. And now oh, let's focus again as this love from your heart flows into your shoulders and into your upper arms. Oh, your shoulder blades seem to be loosening up. One more time, there's a big sweep of all the stuff, all the cords that are there, that wipes them off. Yeah. Complete permission to remove any cords there. Yeah. Amen. Now the ceiling energy moves over your elbows into your lower arms and relaxes all those muscles that keep your fingers moving. <coughs> and if you're a gamer or have a smartphone, just ask that special attention is given to the muscles that control your thumbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and smile into those muscles and thank them, thank them, thank them for all the burdens they're carrying every day. Uh, just let the 
beautiful healing energy soak in there. Amen, 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 amen. And it's releasing all the tension held in your wrist area. And now you can feel the chi is rushing through your fingers, cleansing all the stack stuff the trauma in your fingers from hurts, knuckle busting and cold weather, yeah, bending, twisting, and fingers have to put up with a lot of stuff. And just thank them and feel how this healing energy just moves into them. All right. And now I just thank your whole body for being your servant, you know, all this time. And let it know, you know, that you're there to listen to it and to help it. Invite it to communicate with you from now on. Amen, 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 amen. And now I will count to three and you will be back in your physical body. And all your subtle body will be completely aligned and you will be full of energy yet full of peace and deeply relaxed. One, two, three. Hello my friends. Back to this reality, to the outer world. <coughs> Probably many of you never make it that far, they pass out, <laughs> which is okay. So I strongly you know, advise you uh, not to drive or operate heavy machinery right now. And if you really have to drive, uh, you do this on your own risk. But let me just give you a tip here. <coughs> Not that you should drive, but, uh, you know, you do grounding, you know, fast grounding. And this is a situation, you know, you know you're going to go into a street fight and you need all the chi you need. And you just go. And draw this in from Mother Earth. Oh, you know, you have to dive for 20 yards and you need all the air you need. And you just draw her love into you. And that should connect you to the Earth Mother. <laughs> so anyhow, drink a lot of water. If you get a headache, uh, you have to drink more water you know, parallel to the release of emotional and other toxins, you know, your body will release chemical toxins, you know, according to the principle as above, so below. And if this shotgun meditation rocked your boat, a private session will blast your socks off, you know. You know, or if you need help with any issues, you know, I work over Skype, just sent me an email and my rates are still very, very reasonable. Um, also, my meditations are freely available on all major podcast stations. You know, just do a search, you know, under Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang. And subscribe if you haven't uh, watched my other videos. You know, they all kind of work together and to ring the bell, uh, give me thumbs up, send me money and love, <laughs> and I love you. Namaste.